So you're here because your iPhone screen is stuck, unresponsive or frozen, and you're not sure what to do. Don't worry, I'll walk you through two methods to fix this issue. Whether you're dealing with an iPhone 16, 16 Pro, 15 or any other model from the iPhone 8 and above, I've got you covered. Hello everyone, I'm Abdul and if you're new here, I share easy to follow tech tutorials to solve common problems and make your devices work for you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Now in my case, my iPhone is stuck on the lock screen. It is completely unresponsive and I can't swipe or tap anything. But your screen might be frozen in a different spot, like while using an app on the home screen or anywhere else. The good news is these methods will work no matter where your iPhone is frozen. So let's get started with the method one. For the method one, you'll have to force restart your iPhone. So here's what you need to do. Press volume up button, let it go, press volume down and then release it and then press and hold the side or the power button and keep holding it. Now this is where the patience is key. Keep holding the button, the screen will turn off, but don't release it just yet. Keep holding it until the Apple logo appears. Once you see it, release the power button. Your phone will restart and it should work normally again. If your phone is still frozen after trying this once, don't worry, just repeat the same process. This method works in most cases and can save you a trip to a repair shop. So if unfortunately method one doesn't solve the problem, let's move on to the method two, which involves using iTunes. Before we begin, I want to emphasize something very important. Make sure you have a backup of your iPhone on iCloud or your computer. If you don't, you risk losing all your personal data during this process. Okay, so let's get started. If you already have iTunes installed on your Windows PC, you're good to go. If not, you can download it from the link I've provided in the video description. For those of you using a Mac like I do, you're in luck. iTunes is already pre-installed on your system. Here's what you need to do. First, connect your iPhone to your computer using the provided USB cable. Once connected, follow the same button combination we used in method one. Press volume up button, let it go. Press volume down button, let it go. Then press and hold the side button or the power button until you see the recovery mood screen on your iPhone. Once you're in the recovery mood, switch over to your computer and open iTunes. iTunes will detect your iPhone in recovery mood and give you two options, update and restore. If you click on update, iTunes will download the latest iOS version and attempt to fix this issue without erasing your data. This is the best option to try first. If updating doesn't work, select restore. This will perform a fresh restore of your iPhone, essentially wiping it clean and reinstalling the latest iOS on your device. As I mentioned earlier, if you don't have a backup, this method will erase your data. So make sure your iPhone is backed up before proceeding with this step. And that's it. I hope one of these methods work for you and helped you get your iPhone back in working condition. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear your feedback. Also, if you have any other tech issues you'd like me to cover, feel free to drop your suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more helpful tips. This is Abdul signing off. Take care and good luck.